The Knights Templar, also known as the Poor Fellow Soldiers of Christ and of the Temple of Solomon, are among the most intriguing and mysterious figures of medieval history. Founded in 1119 after the First Crusade, they were tasked with protecting Christian pilgrims traveling to the Holy Land. From a small group of warriors, they grew into a powerful order with significant influence in medieval Europe and the Holy Land. Their story is one of faith, valor, but also of betrayal and downfall. This video will explore the various aspects of the Templars' lives, from their inception through their military and religious activities to their abrupt end. Understanding these elements allows us to better appreciate the legacy of the Templar Knights. The Knights Templar originated in the aftermath of the First Crusade, a series of military campaigns launched to reclaim the Holy Land from Muslim control. In 1119, Hugh de Pion and eight other knights vowed to protect pilgrims on their journey to Jerusalem. King Baldwin II of Jerusalem granted them quarters in his palace, built on the Temple Mount, hence their name. Initially, their role was purely protective, but their mission quickly expanded. The Templars took monastic vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience, living as monks when not on the battlefield. They gained recognition and support from the church in 1129, legitimizing their status and enabling them to receive donations, growing their wealth and influence. Templar Knights were known for their distinctive white mantles emblazoned with a red cross, symbolizing their commitment to Christian ideals. Their armor evolved over time, reflecting advancements in military technology. In the early days, they wore chainmail hauberks, helmets, and carried shields, swords, and lances. By the 13th century, as armor technology progressed, they adopted plate armor for better protection. The Templars' appearance was not just for battle, it was a symbol of their religious devotion and commitment to their cause. Their gear, while practical for combat, also served to distinguish them from other knights and soldiers, marking them as members of a holy order. The Templars were equipped with a variety of weapons, each serving a purpose on the battlefield. Their main arms included the sword, lance, and crossbow. The sword was a symbol of their knighthood and was used for close combat. The lance was effective for charges on horseback, and the crossbow allowed them to engage enemies from a distance. These weapons, combined with their military training and tactics, made the Templars formidable opponents. They were known for their discipline and effectiveness in battle, qualities that contributed to their legendary status. The Templars had a complex relationship with the Catholic Church. Officially endorsed by the Church, they enjoyed privileges such as tax exemption and the right to pass freely across borders. Their close ties to the Church not only provided spiritual guidance, but also political and financial support. The Templars played a crucial role in the Crusades, a series of religious wars between Christians and Muslims for control of the Holy Land. As elite fighters, they were often at the forefront of major battles, serving as the vanguard of the Christian armies. Their main task, however, remained the protection of pilgrims traveling to and from Jerusalem. Their involvement in the Crusades significantly increased their power and wealth. The Templars established a network of fortifications across the Holy Land and Europe, enhancing their military and logistical capabilities. They also developed an early banking system, allowing pilgrims to deposit funds in Europe and withdraw them in the Holy Land further increasing their influence and financial resources. Despite their military prowess, the Templars faced setbacks as the Crusades progressed. The loss of the Holy Land, culminating in the fall of Acre in 1291, marked the beginning of the decline of the Templar Order. With their primary mission in jeopardy, their influence started to wane. The Templars participated in numerous battles throughout their existence, but a few stand out for their significance. One such battle was the Battle of Mongissa in 1177, where a Templar-led Christian army defeated a much larger Muslim force led by Saladin. This victory was celebrated as a miraculous demonstration of Templar valor and divine favor. Another notable engagement was the Siege of Acre in 1291, the last Crusader stronghold in the Holy Land. Despite a heroic defense, the city fell to the Mamluks, marking a significant blow to Christian presence in the region and the Templars' military prestige. These battles, among others, cemented the Templars' reputation as fierce warriors dedicated to their cause. 
However, they also contributed to the eventual exhaustion and overextension of the Order's resources. The downfall of the Templars was swift and shocking. In 1307, King Philip IV of France, indebted to the Order and covetous of their wealth, orchestrated their arrest on charges of heresy, blasphemy, and various other offenses. Pope Clement V, under pressure from Philip, disbanded the order in 1312. The trial of the Templars was marked by confessions obtained under torture and dubious legal proceedings. Many Templars recanted their confessions when the torture ceased, but the damage was done. The order's Grand Master, Jacques de Molay, was burned at the stake in 1314, symbolizing the tragic end of the order. The Templars' assets were seized and handed over to the Hospitallers, another military order. But rumors of their hidden treasure and mystical knowledge have persisted into modern times. The abrupt end of the Templars has fueled speculation and conspiracy theories, contributing to their enduring legend. The Knights Templar's legacy is a complex tapestry of bravery, devotion, and mystery. From their humble beginnings to their dramatic end, they exemplify the extremes of medieval knighthood and the volatile nature of power and faith. Their story, marked by both glorious victories and tragic downfalls, continues to fascinate and inspire centuries after their dissolution. The Templars remind us of the impermanence of earthly power and the enduring allure of the quest for the Holy Land. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Sharing this video with your friends helps us grow and create more content just for you. Your support means the world to us. Until next time, stay awesome.